haven't had one bite of Namika's food thanks to Papa's nonsense. So I'm going back to finish my plate before I head out. I've otherwise asked everyone to meet at the Ferrard cabins. Come and join us after you've had a moment to recover, eh? Damn it, Papa. Sorry to keep everyone waiting. Is that it? You're all set to go? I left Eorzea, prepared to travel in search of work, so I had few belongings to begin with. Bidding farewell to my fellow artisans took rather a lot of time, however. Again, I appreciate you making this commitment, Fon Jontaine. Shall we depart for Earthenshire, then? A word before you go. Who dis? What, what, what going on? Music, happy music stopped. Wakevru, what are you doing here? Oh! Ah, I spend my days correcting manners, and here I am perpetuating the grave offense of delaying the third promise's departure. Oh my god. <laughs> Please, take up your axe and rend my flesh unto taco meat. Must your demands be so gruesome? Besides, I told you that kind of thing doesn't bother me. Uh, all right then, I won't let it bother me either. <laughs> What? What was that all about? I'd come to the city to purchase supplies when I spotted your entourage getting ready to leave. You seek the City of Gold, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. It's the final step of the Rite of Succession. If you know anything about the subject, I'd love to hear it. Then allow me to be of service. As you know, legends of the Golden City have been passed down into all for a thousand years. Yet, when it comes to describing the place itself, the stories do not always agree. Some portray it as one might expect a glittering metropolis of golden towers. Others suggest it is more unassuming and owes the name to its fabulous treasure hidden at its heart. Every telling, however, has a common thread. Those who go in search of the Golden City do not return. The lesson to be learned from this third promise is that to seek the legend is to court death. I must implore you to proceed with the utmost care. That is all I wish to say. I shall pray for your safe journey. Thank you, Wukavu. What are we to make of these cautionary tales? If every expedition has ended in tragedy, how then did the Don Servant find the city and return without incident? It seems the legend originated with the Yokoi. Speaking with them remains our strongest lead, I feel. A lead we shall follow in time. But first, let us see Fonjontaine safely into the Moblin's care. Meanwhile, in Kozamauka. Uh-oh. 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 こうも簡単に壺だくみに志願するものが現れると。両田拡大の夢を見せてくださるあなたに恩を売って Hmm. I'm also questioning that as well. Oh. He's gonna get a beat down. Ah, I don't think that's how that works, Bakul Jaja. Bakul Jaja, what are you doing? I'm going to get to the Ogon Kyo. I'm going to get to the Ogon Kyo. That means, I don't need to do anything in the past. That's right. I'm going to get to the Ogon Kyo. I'm going to get to the Ogon Kyo. I'm going to get to the Ogon Kyo. Oh, are they gonna fight it out? I hope, I hope this guy gets humbled real quick. 
連王の血を引く奇跡の子だがなんだか知らねえが、所詮は相当として生まれてこられなかった出来損ない。連王の後継者としてふさわしいのは、同じ相当である、この俺様だってことをな。あは、オッケー。さあ、武器を脱ぎな。一つ頭の劣等士との差を、その身に刻み込んでやるぜ。えお待ちくだされゾラージャ様そやつにはまだ利用価値が殺さず痛めつける程度でどうか A use for this new and writ a use? どうしたビビって動けなくなったか He's so arrogant He's gonna be put in this place Let's watch I'm excited それなら、oh! Wow, not even worth. Bokana, so to no ore samaga. He tots a tamagotoki, he's out scassar. Buckle Jaja, you help. You're so overcompensating right now. Can shashimas. Korosuno eats the modekir. Whoa, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't fight him. <laughs> I really don't like Surreal Ja. Yeah, I'd run too. We're back, and we've brought with us a willing Potsworn. This is Fawn Shantain, a talented goldsmith who once worked at Eshtame's aesthetics in Ulda. Wonderful in person! You are first to return, thank goodness! And with an artisan from across the south, no less! We welcome you and your unique skills to Erdenshire! Her hand will show you to the work part! And this is it then. I look forward to hearing you proclaimed Don Servant. Thank you, Fawn Jontaine. I'll be sure not to disappoint you. You have reached what the requirements of the Feet of Pets. Vidorak presents your keystone with two smiles and well wishing. Hey, look at that! We got another Jolly Rancher! Um. This one looks like it's, uh. That makes three. Lord Pets and candidates, come, come, tell the video out your tears. Another feat accomplished, another keystone acquired. Oh, you are doing well. I expected nothing less of Zeralja's esteemed siblings. Your cleverness, in particular, is most admirable, Second Promise. We must have you apply that Charlian knowledge you so cherish and arm Tyrell with weapons of Magitech design. In your role as the new Dawn Servant's chief advisor, of course. The tools of war hold no interest for me. I wish only to improve our nation through practical innovations. Foreign powers will think twice about testing our strength once Tuliolol is known for its advanced technology. Just as the Garlean Empire was deterred from invading Charlian. That may well be true, but how long will it take Tuliolol to progress to this advanced state? How many years? With a collective commitment to education and hard work, it should not take so very... Your way is too slow. Easier to expand our territory and swallow Charlian whole. Conquering other nations through force of arms, and you're looking at a future of uprisings and bloodshed. Yours wouldn't be the first failed empire. 
Then we keep fighting, until the mounting costs convince them to lay down their weapons, until all have grown tired of loss. Dude! <laughs> How would such an outcome bring anyone joy? What you propose is a mockery of peace! Ritherak is reminded of days long ago. In the time before Juliolan, there were no pet packs for the pet swarm. It was normal to grab snatch artisans and force them to work for muggies. Until the day Gulljarjar arrived, the families of the grab snatch pleaded with him, and so he came to Evanshire. Babbies are not a warm make people. We feared death had come for us, but Gulil Jaja just wanted to talk. Be at ease. We are here to trade words, not blows. The gold work crafted in this village is superb. One can tell at a glance the quality of materials used, the mastery of technique employed. Yet it does not stir the heart. A goblet shaped by bound hands and broken spirit is devoid of luster. Compare that now to the work of a joyful artisan. She pours her very soul into her creation, and they shine like the newly risen sun. Have you not seen this to be true? And so began the custom of good living. Happy pets will make good works, and good works make bobbies happy. Gulul Jaja's words are wise. Joy Smiles did indeed bring fine craft and much dingly shine. So the Head of Reason was behind the forging of pot packs. Yes, Reason and Clever Think changed Muggy's way of life. Hmm. <laughs> this hard-headed, stubborn son... The first promise tires of your talk of olden days. You would rather look to the future and the next feat. I don't like him. Why is he sneering at pr protect? We should be getting on as well. Why is he staring at Wook? But cool Jaja never did come back, did he? Uh oh. <coughs> Do you have a moment, Dave Thomas? Ragnarok would repay you for help handy hand helping with care. He brings a tale of the golden city. Really? I'd love to hear it. The terrors, the streets are fashioned from gold. Everywhere you look, every splendor you can imagine. The young, the old, and everyone in between, they live in golden happiness. A city of eternal bliss, forever perched above the clouds. Everything fashioned from gold, eh? And just imagine everyone living in golden happiness. Now that's a city I'd like to visit. Excuse me, Rakarok. Where did you hear this, that particular tale? From our long-time Yukui friends. They live up in the mountains in Uruk Pasha. The giants again? Seems everything is pointing us their way. This feat and everything leading up to it has taught me much about the Moblin way of life. I'll be sad to leave Earthenshire and your joy smiles behind. Aw, cute. The story is describing a place of boundless happiness but are also rife with dire warnings of seekers who did not return. What are we to make of this? Maybe they just left, they didn't come back because they liked it there. <laughs> the head of reason in Red Rock's story sounds so different from the head of resolve. They share the same body, yet their personalities are wholly distinct. It unsettles me that Zoralja is even a climate in the first place. Surely his father cannot condone his violent ambitions. These tales raise many questions. Let us hope the giants have answers. Right, we should go and see the giants next. Agreed. Golden mysteries notwithstanding. Their village is featured prominently in the saga and is not to be ignored. The Orokpacha Highlands should be easy enough to reach from here. 
If we leave Earthenshire from the west, there is a road which leads up to the mountains. Let's find that first. This road will take us through the mountains to the Urukpacha Highlands. An exhausting route, perhaps, but a straightforward one. One day we're sailing up rivers, and the next we're hiking up mountains. Alpha no be thinking. The highlands are where the Lay of Proof took place. That being Galul Jaja's. That being Galul. Blah, blah, blah. That being Galul Jaja's encounter with the Yokui. But tis also the stage for the Lay of Ice, where heroes fought the monstrous Valigormanda. I am most curious to know what the right will demand of us there. We're moving into new area, let's go! Looks like the trail is going to get steep from here on. I hope everyone is ready for some climbing. Third promise! I'm glad I caught you. Ritter Rock asked me to bring you back to the village. She says there's something she forgot to give you. Huh? Something other than the keystone? Yes, an item of great importance. Or so I was told. Shouldn't take long if you would please follow me. This is so sus. No shade to people with pink hair, but he has pink hair. He's sus. I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I had pink hair at one point. <laughs> I can say it. I wonder what this is all about. Well, no need for everyone to come. I'll be back in a little while. No, no, no. No, no, no. We follow. We follow. Come on. Come on, Zordia. Zordia, we following. I'm eager to continue to the highlands and meet a Yokoi face to face. We've heard much about them, but I'm not entirely sure what to expect. That man seemed familiar somehow, but I just can't place him. Noe woke Lamat. She was probably eating sweets behind our backs and forgot to pay the shopkeeper or something equally careless. He had a rather interesting hair for a hero, or should I say Tonawauta? In any case, strange that I never noticed him while we were in the Earthenshire. This is taking quite a while. Just keep waiting for now, I suppose. No! No, we should go! No one else, no one else is gonna say anything? Can I go back? There's nothing over there. Jeez. We waited so long, it's daytime. <laughs> Hi, McDowell. <laughs> Perhaps there were complications. Well, let us wait a little longer. Still? We're still gonna wait. Alpha, no. Someone should have gone with her. This is irresponsible party. Irresponsible party. This is getting a little ridiculous. Did she get lost on her way back to find us? But how? There is only the one road. I wouldn't underestimate Woklamat's sense of direction, or lack thereof. Fortunately, she has Link Pearl. Let's see what's keeping her, shall we? She is not responding. Perhaps we should all return to the, to Earthenshire. Twas Ridder Rock who had business with her, yes? I pray not untoward, as befallen the third promise. Something's not right, I can feel it. And we should have followed her. She doesn't seem to be here. I thought Woklamat was just being her usual impulsive self, but now I'm not so certain. <coughs> Back so soon? We have come looking for Woklamat. Did you not send someone to fetch her? Ridderak did not! Neither has she seen the third promise since you were last here. Then, who was the man who came for her? Oh? I thought you'd already left. Where is Lamachi? Is she not with you? We get in time to bond with the bro. He actually cares about his sister, so... You don't know where she is? How could you let this happen? That thou shouldst worry for thy sister is understandable, yet rather than assign blame, 
Thine energies are better spent on locating her. I will help you search. This is not how I wish a fellow climate to lose their contest. My sister, least of all. I like Kona. Kona's, I, we can, we can keep Kona. <laughs> In that case, dividing our forces will allow us to cover more ground. Zordi and I should work together at least. The better to facilitate communication between our groups. Then the rest of us will split up. Report in should you find anything. We'll be on our way as well. Right. Keep in touch. Come. We should begin our search. Do -do 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 -do. This is most worrisome. If Vigarak hears anything, she will let you know. Lost promise, Kona is anxious to begin the search for Wook Lamont. If Lamachi was returning to Earthenshire from the west, then she should have passed through here. Except Ritterock swears she didn't see her. In which case, tis entirely possible that Lamachi never made it back to the village at all. The only way to be certain is to ask the sentry stationed at the opposite entrance. If the guard did not see Lamachi, then we can be fairly sure she's not in Earthenshire. She's not one to pass without notice. <laughs> if they vanish, Marty has been standing at his post with diligent Elwachi. He has seen no climates pass this way. What of a Tonawout with brightly colored hair? Marty knows something of this one. He hears tongue threats about a Kalu Templar with many fires. He was attacked by a crazy haired bandit on the road. A bandit, you say? Thank you. You've been most helpful. My sister is clearly not here. Though I wish it were otherwise, we must consider the possibility Tonawautan Messenger and the Brigand, described by the sentry, are one and the same and that Lamachi is in very real danger. Come, let us hurry to many fires. I'd like a word with this peddler, should they still be around. Here, Zordia, this is the merchant who ran afoul of the bandit. Is there something I can help you with? I'm told you were the victim of a bandit attack. Could you recount exactly what happened? My goodness, I thought I recognized you. I'll tell you everything I remember, second promise. It was that scoundrel, Wau Kessa, who ambushed me. You know the name of your attacker? There's no mistaking that hair. All my peddler friends have stories of that notorious bandit leader and his predations. While Kessa and his band will stoop to any low for the sake of a few pell, and with no fresh quarry coming up the broken stairs, they've had to become more creative. Little wonder he went after Lamachi. He likely thinks to ransom her for a royal sum. I expect he'll soon make his demands, but I don't intend to wait. We'll find this villain first, and deliver his deserved payment in person. What say you to a small deception? I will assume the role of a well-to-do merchant to lure Walkessa out of hiding. Then when he comes sniffing about, we can catch the rat by the tail. An excellent plan! And I have just the right garments for your disguise. At a specially discounted price, of course! <laughs> of course you're gonna... A brush with bandits hasn't dampened your mercantile spirit, I see. Very well. I accept your generous deal. Hey, <laughs> Bhatia. In glam, let's go. Now we lay the bait. I like Kona. I will precede you into many fires to make my presence known. You follow one behind. You follow on behind, boasting to those along the way how you paid me a hefty purse in exchange for a rare gemstone or some such. If Waukesa is as coin-hungry as they say, then a recently enriched peddler should be an irresistible mark. We let him strike, and then we spring our trap. I pray that your scheme is a success. Time to play our parts. Follow Kona's lead. Okay. Follow me. Spending time with the bro. Why is he so cute in this outfit? <laughs> He's adorbs. Oh, I like how that, that moblin. There, that Gibral fellow. Share with him how happy your imaginary deal with me has made you. 
Once you've put on an appropriate display, we can continue on our next performance. Can I... something I can do for your friend? I'm so excited! A rare gemstone from that... Hetsaro merchant, you say? I envy the profit he must have made from such a sale. Since the stairs were destroyed, I've not been able to peddle goods at my usual haunts. A good start. But I wouldn't make certain Waukesa is aware of me. Let's continue. That moblin over there looks amenable to conversation. The stage is yours, Ordea. <coughs> what could not do for you? Zordia is excited. <coughs> I had Sarah sold you a sparkle stone for your collection? Well, that explains your giant joy smiles. Bunny is happy for your happiness. Bunny is also jealous of the merchant and all the jiggly shiny must have made. That should be enough, but perhaps one last act to drive it home. Look at this nerd go, let's go. <laughs> We're going to the Cheery Pelu. Do you see that cheerful Pelu? Tell him the tale of your precious gemstone, and then we'll be done with this part of the charade. Kona's adorable. Just this one last performance, I promise. I, l I love how much she cares about his sister. It's really endearing. How nice to see a smiling face. Care to share the reason for it? I've heard nothing but mumblings and grumblings since the storm passed through. I got a new gemstone for my collection. I paid so much money. <laughs> a passing peddler had the very gemstone you sought for your collection? What a stroke of luck. I'll wager the merchant was just as pleased to fill his pockets with your grateful coin, coin eh? Well, I'm inspired to go and earn some pal of my own. Who knows, maybe opportunity will find me even as it found you. <laughs> Is this hair pink because the trees are pink? Ah, uh, my most valued customer. The profit from the single purchase of yours should see me through weeks of idle leisure. Traveling with such a fat purse and no cell swords is tempting fate, so I shall make Earthenshire my last stop and then return forthwith to Tuliolo. <laughs> that smile. Cute. Did you see that? The rat has come for a nibble. <laughs> You played your part to perfection, Zordia, a woman of many talents, just as Thancred and Urianje described. Now let us lure Waukesa out and spring our trap. Do, 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 do. I forgot to eat some food today. Brother's duty, Kona wishes to execute the final stage of his plan. Let us execute the final stage of the plan. <laughs> I will set out toward Earthenshire alone and unarmed. The better to sell the act of defenseless merchant. Assuming while Kessa is watching, he will likely wait for some quiet stretch of the road before accosting me. I'll be relying on you to follow closely behind, remaining hidden until the time comes to spring the trap on our bandit king. Just remember, we need him alive. I don't know if I can do that. Well, Kessa will tell us what he's done with Lamachi. Go, Kona, go! Go, Kona, go! Go, Kona, go! Go, Kona, go! I hear business has been good to you, Master Merchant. How about you share some of the profits? And by some, I mean every coin you have. You're that gemstone collector. Oh, I see what it is. We've been tricked. Spit in your eye, men. Kill this 
these Vidrel. No, don't run away. I gotta pre-paint, obviously. Pre-painting is important. Damn. <laughs> I was hoping to talk with your boss, but I suppose you three will have to do. Wait, that's the second promise. What do you want with us? Think I'm scared of a fancy title? I'll take your royal ears as trophy as soon as I get free of these ropes. Really? We're gonna... <laughs> I know your gang is behind my sister's abduction. Tell me where she is. Eat paca shit, salt lover. You'll get not answers from us. That's right! We don't serve you! Do not play games with me. Where is Wook Lamott? No, you should be- you should do that more often. You should- you should do that- let- let it out! I'm fast losing patience. Talk now, or die. The choice is yours. We were hired to nab the third promise, that's all. We don't know where they took her. Hired by whom? You weren't told that either. Only well, Kessa knows. He's the one who took the job. Well, it seems we need their leader after all. Once I've arranged for the Landsguard to take custody of these criminals, I'll call on Thancred and his tracking skills. Or perhaps you could pursue Wow Kessa in the meantime? The bandit was running in an easterly direction. Should you locate him, I suggest you shadow him rather than force a confrontation. He might lead us to where Lamachi is being held. I see where this is going. This is going to be another follow quest, isn't this? This is going to be the Endwalker follow quest. Their the Dawn Trail follow quest. Go after Waukesa. I'll watch these miscreants until they can be taken into Landsguard custody. Jeez, he runs hella slow. <laughs> Should your quarry begin displaying the effect shown in the picture, you, you will be discovered when he turns around. To avoid detection at these times, make use of the cover such as- Oh, there's a visual, um, tell now? That'll be helpful on the white snow. I can't believe I didn't see it. I knew that woman looked familiar. This job's more trouble than it's worth. What was that? You made me waste my smudge, my dude. There's a lookout point there! Dang damn it. This was meant to be easy. Bro, well, Castle, don't. Why? I don't trust. That is. Can I hide in these? What? No, no, no. Tree. Tree, tree. You don't see me behind the tree. You don't see me behind the tree, bro. You don't see me behind the tree. Ha ha! Ha ha! If I don't- if you don't see me, I, if I don't see you, you don't see me. Can I hide behind those trees? No, 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 no. No, nothing, nothing, nothing. You hear nothing. There is nothing to see. Damn nerves. Boy! Boy, you better stop running. Boy, you better stop it, bro. Bro, you moving too fast, bro. Bro, bro, bro. Should be safe enough now. He said to me. Oh jeez, oh jeez. You don't see shit. Damn. Where's that damn who be go? You don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. You piece of ish. Ya pizza ish! Rock. Rock. Tree. Tree rock. 
Rock and tree. Rock tree. I made it. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! <laughs> I made it! Finally! My money! Give it to me now! The Lands Guard may be hunting us already. Calm yourself. We had our own troubles finding a suitable hideaway. B right. We're finished. Take your prize and leave me out of the rest. Such hostility. You were hurting for coin and I offered you gainful employment out of the kindness of my heart. Kindness? You brought a blackened tempest upon us! One look and I could tell that woman was a killer, a butcher, a salted devil in the flesh. That's me. Oh, spare me your fearful bleeding. Go on, scamper away now before the scary mercenary comes to claim your head. Kona told me the news. You found the abductor, then. What's the situation? Do you think the bandits were hired by this Hubigu? Hubigo? Alright, new strategy. Forget Waukesa and stay on the Mamulja's tail. We don't want to endanger the Third Promise, so keep your distance until we're certain they have her. I'll catch up to you as soon as I am able. Alright, thank Red. Wait, we still have to do this? <laughs> it's double follow? Bro. Bro, I was already stressed. Nani? Nothing. What can I hide behind? That tree? <laughs> He's not turning around at all. This is sus. I don't trust. I don't trust this. Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? I don't trust this. Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? Hmm. Always trust Zeno's jiggling. I'm hearing things. I'd better hurry if I don't want to want a beating. One last precaution, just in case. That was easy. Where's Lamachi? Hey, thank Red. Seems like it. Mada Kakshuanaika. Oh, he really cares about Mamachi. We already know that the other two are not going to make it. I like Koda! Aww! Give Koda hugs. Let's go, Thancred. Very cautious head pants, yeah. The bastard! We're gonna be sad, chat. Alright, we're gonna listen to backstory from Kona. Oh, 
食い打ちなどの卑怯な罠にかけられたということでしょう。Probably deceived, huh? くそ、僕がついていれば、どうか無事でいてくれ、ラマチ。ああ、ああ、ペーヘッペーツ。It's okay, Koto, we're gonna find her! We need to be calm, be patient, trust in Thancred. I thought you were the cool headed one. Be patient, trust in Thancred. I like this side of you better. Cute. Oh no, this is gonna make me cry, isn't it? He's talking about how family should be, bro. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Oh, that's why he always looks forward. That's why he doesn't he he doesn't like tradition. He's he wants to leave behind tradition for innovation because tradition is what left him behind. I see. Got it. Boku ga iki no birare ta no wa. Guzen ni deatta peru peru zoku ga mendo o mite kureta o kage. Hitori de mi o taterare ryo shoubai o oshiete kureta n desu. そうしてトライオラの露天商として暮らしていたらある時今の父上の目に留まり養子になったというわけですあ This found family それからしばらくしてラマチが連王宮にやってきました Interesting It's interesting the, the two adopted are the ones that cling more to family than the one who was born of 彼女もまた理由あって両親の元を離れてきたのです。孤独の辛さを知る僕は、同じ思いを味わわせたくなかった。ああ。So he wanted to be the big brother to protect her! だから誓ったんです。ラマチの兄として、彼女が幸せでいられるようにすると。Doting brother confirmed! ともかくそういった事情があるのでラマチのことは何があっても必ず助け出しますサンクレットの追跡に期待するとして僕たちも川下りの手段を用意しなければあなた方の船はわざわざプヌティを逃がしたとなるとそれが追跡の妨害になると考えていたことになりますねやはり何らかの手を打っておく必要がありそうですまずはあなたのお仲間と合流しましょう連絡していただいてもマハティアグラハブラスわかったこちらも法有の塔下へ向かうよそこで合流しよう All right, Alpha now. See you there. I may have put rescuing Lamachi ahead of my own progress. But do not take that to mean I've given up on the contest. You understand how important she is to me. And regardless of how close we were, I would have made the same choice. That's why he chose to kidnap her and not him. Although she would probably do the same. After all, if I am incapable of saving my sister while also winning the throne, then I am not fit to inherit our father's heavy mantle. I can't believe that we we let after having a heart to heart with their father the dawn servant we allow her to get kidnapped he's going to kill us <laughs> feeding the river kona wishes to gather your companions for the upcoming rescue mi mission we need to gather our forces firstly allow me to brief everyone on our present situation thus at the very least we believe this hubigu Kubigo knows where Lamachi has been taken. Thancred is shattering their boat even as we speak, and I should like to join with him with all haste. Unfortunately, our quarry had the foresight to release your punity. 
from its harness, leaving us without a means to give pursuit. Erinville, as an expert on wildlife, what are our chances of recapturing the beast? With the right mix of feed, it can be done. I should like an extra hand to help scatter it about, however. Would you accompany him, Zordia? Meanwhile, the rest of us should look on getting the harness repaired. It appears to have been damaged when the Punity was let loose. With all the peddlers here in the here in camp, we should have little trouble purchasing replacement materials. As for any necessary metalwork, Earthenshire's artisans are but a short walk away. And let us defy the task and have at it. There was an unusually aggressive herd of wild punities downriver, so our girl will have fled in the opposite direction. Come, we'll try the waters upriver. We hanging with Erinville, let's go. Assuming our punity has come this way, she'll be hiding in the depths of Marsh Ligaka. We'll need to lure her back to the shallows with a promise of food. Wild punities eat mainly aquatic grasses and plants, but the tame ones are often fed vegetable scraps. Knowing this, I added leftovers to the feed I've prepared. This should help the mixture stand out against the marsh's natural scents. Ligaka is crawling with predators, however, so I'll leave it to you to scatter feed deeper in. I'll be waiting for you near the shallows, with the rest of our punities enticing feast. Come and let me know when you've scattered the feed. We cast the feed! You scatter Erinville's punity feed along the water's edge. All set. I've just finished laying out the last bit of bait. Step back out of sight and leave the rest to me. Here she is. There's nothing to be afraid of. We just need your help one last time. You're hungry, I wager. Come on, come with me. Erinville's good with animals. Yes, there's a good girl. We'll be fine here, I think. I'll give her a few more treats, then lead her over to the boat. You can let Kona know we have our punity back. We got it, Kona. Erinville has the punity in hand then. Good. I expected nothing less from a certified gleaner. As for the harness, we will we were able to purchase all the parts we need. The Levelier twins are over in Earthenshire right now, having the pots worn make the repairs. I'm told it shouldn't take long. We'll be ready to embark on our rescue mission as soon as we hear from Thancred. This is a good stopping point, yeah? Sibling rescue. Finish sibling rescue. This is the last 92, yeah? I'm starting it. <laughs> Thancred must know something by now. Speak of the devil. You found her. Understood. Thank you. I had but to invoke his name. <laughs> Thancred listening. Thancred followed the Hobigo's boat to its destination and confirmed that they are indeed holding my sister captive. They, of course, being Bakul Jaja and his minions. I swear I will make them regret this. Lamachi is in rich leaf tunnels. The moment the harness is repaired, we strap in the punity and make our way back down Ihui Katumu. Let's go! ペンクレット王女様はこの先だ今まだ無事だが急いだ方がいいだ。That's <笑> Wow, the audacity of taking our blueberry Jolly Rancher!
adventurer. So it's all cursed. So much to give up. Fon Jante no moiga comotenda. Oh, my god, tennis the emon jane. Surya, Kimi no tamini tsuboda kumi ni natti kurete yatsu no nakai. Nala, I said you bari te dami jinaika. Dami jinaika. Hikiona mane shiagata. So let them okay show go hosaka. そんなやつにコロッと騙されてさらわれちゃったのは誰かな威勢がいいだけで王様になれるなら苦労しないよにカラカラ弟よあまりメス猫ちゃんをいじめるんじゃないほら見ろ今にも泣き出しそうじゃねえか助けてにゃんってなダーム We gotta put him in this place <笑> I gotta put him in this place. Nanda, Nanda. Sasugani Ganjo, this man. Let's go, Koda. You still are still not yet to me. Anatani, you are a taku, I must end. あのブネはの腰巾着でそれの足止めは受け持つって話だっただろうがその話詳しく聞かせてもらいましょう All right, Kona. I swear Kona's voice is hot. こっちには人質がいるんだぜ Hey, put her down. Come on, Tancred. Dan, Dan, let's go. <laughs> I like how we're just walking up. Let's go. We're gonna put him in this place. Let's go. I do it, Dan. Let's go. <laughs> God breaker, let's go. Kona's gonna Kona's got her. Kona's got her. Oh look at this amazing big brother! Cute! I love them! Oh my god! Izo, Kona! Oh this <laughs> We're gonna beat him up. We're gonna beat him up. We are beating you up. We are beating you up. You already got beat up by the eldest brother. Okay, if you could try, if you can. You won't. Haha. <laughs> no, he's gonna fight. He's gonna fight. We're gonna fight. Bergen, I cut him down. No, stay. Yes, we get to beat you up. No! Wait, he could teleport? No, but he stole our Jolly Rancher! It doesn't matter. We already know that it's not about the destination. I'm glad to see you unharmed, Lamachi. Thanks again for coming to my rescue, Kona. And all of you, too. Bakul Jaja must be desperate indeed to resort to such aggressive tactics. I shouldn't have been so careless. I underestimated him, and it cost me a keystone. Von Jontain upended his life so that I could accomplish the Moblin's feat. He believed in me, believed in my cause, and I've let him down. I'm sure if we talked, it'd be fine. Contest isn't over yet. 
So we take back what was stolen. We won't let Bakul Jaja get away with this. Accountability. Accountability. You're God's damned right about that. The next time I meet that brute, I'll knock him straight on his scaly behind and take back my keystone. Speaking of vengeance, didn't Bakul Jaja's curse some useless Bunewa psychophant when he caught sight of us? A reference to Surilja, I would assume. He is devoted to our brother and is the only Bunewa I know of participating in the Rite of Succession. If Zeralja was somehow involved in this... I will never forgive him for putting our sister in danger. He will have will he will have forfeited his right to be called a brother. Aww. <laughs> Cute, wait. <laughs> Dorms. <clears throat> but cool Jaja should face punishment, of course, but so must the bandits, who had the temerity to abduct Lamachi. I shall request that Father send a contingent of Landsguard to enforce the law in this region. I agree that measures need to be taken to keep travelers safe, but I wonder what pushed these people towards a life of banditry in the first place. If we dig deeper, we might find a way to improve things for everyone. Ah. He's realizing, ah, oh. <laughs> he's so proud of his sister. Oh my god, I love them. Sorry, I love. I I'm a softie for families. <laughs> to something to think about. For now, however, the right continues. I thank you all for your help. So sweet. So sweet. I love these characters so much. We should move on as well. Are you feeling fit to travel, Lamont? You bet I am! Zeralja's gained a good head start, and it's time we clawed back some lost ground. Can't we go back and ask if there's an extra, you know, Jolly Rancher? We need to take the, that keystone back from Bokul Jaja before we arrive at the, gold of, the City of Gold. We will not relinquish it without a fight, though. Though they share a single body, it's obvious. But cool Jaja has two minds when you see one head calming the other head down. His personalities are as distinct as two individuals could be. Mavok Lamat I once knew would have been inconsolable at the loss of a keystone. This journey and your companionship is doing her a world of good. Kona is the picture of composure and rationality. Except when it comes to matters concerning Wok Lamat's safety. Far be it from me to fault a brother for being protective, but still. <laughs> I'm really sorry this happened. From now on, I won't let my guard down around suspicious strangers. Buddy system, Wook. We always do buddy system. You don't go alone. I don't go alone. We do this together with the buddy system, guys, all right? No, no going around alone. And again, I do appreciate you all coming to save me. Da 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 da.